Hey everybody! Welcome to Psych Facts. Listen caring sharing. Today, our topic is about how can introverts become natural great leaders. Make sure to watch till the end, hope you'll find something useful. During this time the quality of leaders is often juxtaposed with the characteristics of extroverts, self-confidence, sociable, like attention, hobbies to talk. We often forget that there are many great people out there who are known for their calm, charismatic, though not very talkative, and willing to work behind the scenes without receiving applause from the stage. What other special qualities of leaders are there naturally in introverts? Check out 7 explanations why introverts are candidates for great leaders and convince your introverted friends that they are people with great potential. 1. With the natural sensitivity they have, introverts can listen and understand others brilliantly. In general, introverts are good listeners. Not because they are too shy to express their opinions, but because their sensitivity to the environment makes it easy for them to listen and understand what other people are saying. Those who are introverts also prefer to wait and hear what others say until the person finishes speaking. They never felt they had to rush to add their opinions. By listening, they become more aware of what is needed by others, including superiors and subordinates. And as we know, a wise leader must be sensitive to what is needed by the people or their staff. 2. The habit of thinking before acting makes them not careless in facing challenges. Unlike easygoing and spontaneous extroverts, especially if they are in front of other people, an introvert will not want to rush into a cliff before knowing how deep the hole is. He will use the resources he has, whether they are best friends or mentors, to strategize carefully and dig deep information. As a result, when they have plunged into the hole, they already have information and strategies that can be provisioned they stay in that hole for days. This does not mean that extroverted spontaneous work is bad. However, aren't complicated problems duly resolved with deep strategy and thought? An introvert will be trained to investigate the problem carefully. Isn't that an advantage? 3. Their calm and deep personalities are ammunition to solve problems to the root. Like an artist, introverts tend to have deep personalities. For example, when he just met you, he will not be satisfied just chatting small talk with you. He will try to bring the conversation to a more personal topic because he does not want to only know you superficially. This tendency to address things more deeply is priceless when brought into the problem-solving method. The introvert leader will try to explore various sides of a problem that he is facing. They will not be satisfied with partial or incomplete information. They will try to increase understanding of a problem, and this can ultimately help them find the best solution to the problem. This deep and thoughtful thinking also gives an introverted leader the ability to feel that something is wrong in his performance. They can also anticipate or identify problems before they solve them perfectly. 4. Accustomed to working alone, introverts are definitely reliable. When many people are afraid to do anything alone, those who are introverted actually enjoy working alone. Solitude will give him the opportunity to calm down and be more focused. In addition, introverts are very fond of solitude because they like introspection, look at themselves to find flaws and improve themselves. Introverts have the power within themselves to give birth to ideas, new perspectives and solutions. A quiet time when you are alone is very important to generate new ideas for them. Their superior introverted ability is an unparalleled level of focus. When other people are easily distracted by funny videos on YouTube or Facebook, introverts can stay more focused on their work. 5. As ice, their heads will remain cold in the heat. Introverts have energy that brings calm, not explosiveness like extroverts. In heated conversations, introverts don't force themselves to want to be heard. They remain in their zone, calm and listening. Then what about his leadership if he just keeps quiet? Silence does not mean they do not understand anything. Instead what is needed is its presence which calms the atmosphere. The introvert leader will keep his cool head as much as possible. In the midst of the most circumstances they actually display calm, confident and convincing. Like President Obama, introverts continue to talk slowly and softly despite the heat. 6. 
Because speech skills are not their trump card, introverts' writing skills are usually above average. Being an introvert doesn't make them people who have poor communication skills at all. Through writing, an introvert will be clearer and often express what is in his head. In the midst of a world that is increasingly infatuated with technology, his habit of writing may look old fashioned. But believe me, with adequate writing skills, introverts can actually communicate clearly and directly to the point. Introverted leaders tend to like writing rather than talking. His comfort in writing often results in the elaboration of things more clearly. 7. They naturally already have the character of a leader, can not be silent, and are never easily satisfied. Introverts will not want to feel proud and are quickly satisfied with what they have gained. This desire and hunger to improvise on an ongoing basis can be a benefit for the business they run. Even if the boss is not yet a boss, introvert superiors will be happy if their employees always want to improve themselves. Those who are introverted are most likely to be able to identify what needs to be improved. High awareness and focus such as this will be an important quality in its development into a leader. They will motivate and challenge their subordinates to try to match what he is doing by evaluating himself, his colleagues and his team to improve the quality of self at work. There is no guarantee that you will become a great leader without hard work, the ability to learn and the desire to be better than before. The question is, are you ready to start honing your natural talents? Are you an introvert? What more do you want to add? Let us know in the comment section below. Do you have any topics in mind? We will be glad to make them for you. Make sure you like, subscribe to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Take care.